All right, so we watched a brand new drama horror <laughs> <laughs> movie. Uh, drama horror. Yes. Yeah. Very, very little horror. Although the atmosphere surrounding it feels horror-ish the entire time, but very little actual horror is taking place throughout the film. So that's immediately going to turn off a lot of people. Um, this is a film from the UK, and it stars Matt Smith and Morphid Clark uh, from House of the Dragon and Lord of the Rings, Rings of Powers, respectively. And uh, so, yeah, you've got uh, Damon and uh, Galadriel here. Mm -hmm. They're a married couple. They got a child. They live in some, like, rural area. Um, in this house with some land, Starve Acre. That's that's the uh, the name of this film, right? Like that's yeah. not some different pronunciation. Because like when we saw the title for Any's or like Any's Men, I was like, I had no idea what that said. Yeah, and I had to like look up something to figure it out. Um, which we had we had figured out that actually meant something, and I was yes. like, oh, okay, that makes the film make a little more sense. So I don't know why this is called Starve Acre. Uh, I don't either. So I, I I don't know. I thought that there was going to be like they were going to be starving. Yeah. On this acre of land that they couldn't get off of or something. I, I didn't really know what to expect on that. So anyway, uh, yeah, Matt Smith and and them they have their kid and. Uh, the, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what to say except for uh, a tragedy befalls the family, mm -hmm. and um, the dad gets lost. Matt Smith's character gets lost in excavation, and he discovers something that creates some um, mystery. <laughs> that's, that's all yeah. I can really say. Some Any, mystery. I mean, honestly, if I said anything more, that'd be the whole movie. Yeah. Because the movie, as far as, like, you know, the density of the story, mm. it's pretty light. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I was, I could probably explain this entire film to you in, like, a minute or less and cover pretty much everything that happens in it. So, it is a very, 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 very slow plotting film. Um, that is going to bore a lot of people to tears. This is going to be a film that I think a lot of like critics will mm. rave about and be like, oh my God, it's so intelligent and whatever. And maybe that's the case and I'm too dumb to have gotten it, but I, I have no idea what happened in this film. I, like I can venture to guess some things and I'm probably somewhere in the ballpark of what it's supposed to all mean but was i entertained was i moved was i emotionally like uh connected the performances from both of them are great the visuals are excellent mm -hmm. like it's very well shot um and it, it kind of had that feel like we were talking about with like um Shepherd or something where you got those yeah, definitely. sprawling like landscapes isolated. and mm -hmm. yeah, isolation. But man, what a what a kind of like lackluster ho hum kind of a watch. It was mm -hmm. intriguing because I like really liked the two actors. Mm -hmm. I thought it was building to something super interesting. And there's I'm somewhat intrigued mm -hmm. by what happened and I'm, I kind of want to analyze it. And if, I feel like if I understood it better, I, I would I would like it more overall, mm. just as a whole, like as a story. But even then, I probably still wouldn't have any interest in going back and w watching it again. Yeah, I I I wasn't really enjoying it when we were watching it, but when it finished, I changed my mind. I like it. I think it's a good movie. I think that it's definitely a movie that deals it seems to deal with a lot of like symbolism yeah. and it definitely is handling grief in a very specific way yeah um i did have kind of a hard time understanding some of the dialogue because of the accents yeah um, because there's some like very thick like english countryside accents yeah. going on yeah um 
but I don't know. I I did really like the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. I like like the creepy stuff that we do get. I liked mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed that. And um, sorry, did you already mention the the music? No, that was really good. Yeah, the music was great. I really liked that too. I think it gives it a very, it kind of has like a fairy tale vibe to it, yeah. but it really just fits this like, you know, pagan kind of Celtic folk. Yeah, like English um, paganism type of vibe going on, and I I enjoyed that for sure. And I do think that the performances were really great from the two. Yeah. Yeah. Which is to be expected. I mean, you're of not going to hire yeah. these two and not utilize them. Um, another movie I watched this year that's somewhat similar, and I felt somewhat similarly to, and a film I would actually like to rewatch with Kaylee because I think she'll get some out of it, and there's more creepiness going on in there, and actually has maybe one of the most haunting images of the entire year is the movie Handling the Undead. Mm. Um,. So, I don't know. If, if you're easily bored by films, mm. do a boy, yeah, a Yeah, it's, a, avoid, it's avoid. a super slow burn. Yeah. This felt like a very British horror movie, too. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing at all, but might no. turn off some people, I suppose. A lot. So. <laughs> a lot. This is for I like a specific like, audience. Yeah. You, but, you were, like, not I know. into this. I wasn't into it. Like I said, when we were watching it, I was like, I don't know. But then when it finished, I like it more. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I'm intrigued by what we learn because there's stuff that happens that's very interesting mm -hmm. that I'm like, okay, what is that? Yeah. What is being said here? What all happened? I, I would like to break down the film mm. and go through it and try to understand every bit, of, bit and piece of it. So it did that, right? It, it got me. So typically if I'm really bored by a movie, like super bored, I don't even care. Like, it's like, well, here's what happened. And I'm like, I don't care. You can just save it. With this one, I 100% would love to know. Like, and uh, if I had to rewatch it to get those answers, to analyze it for myself and really be looking for everything, I guess I'd be willing to do it. Um, I'm just not really, um, I don't feel a, a, a big need to watch it again. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to figure out what was going on. And maybe I'll think about it more and I'll come to a more conclusive um, you know, agreed upon interpretation if we discuss it. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if you're intrigued by slow burn mysteries that have a lot of symbolism and uh, don't reveal very much to you at all and, and let you be the person who interprets what you're given, um, then yeah, you should check this out. Mm. But uh, if if you are not someone like that, or if that sounds like iffy for you, mm, I'd avoid it. <laughs> I yeah. would definitely avoid it. So, um, for all my easily bored viewers out there, nope. <laughs> so if like you saw something like Lamb, and you hated that, <laughs> yeah, then this, this would be would something that would be like even watch. worse to you. Yeah. Uh, so because it does have some lamb qualities is all mm -hmm. i'll say um but that's that um let us know we'll see you in the comments bye, bye.